drop of water lies the power of nature capable of giving life. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. To the Honorable Judge of the International Invention of Innovative Competition, the rivers in Jakarta, such as Cilewong, Cisadane, and Citarum, are known for their poor water quality due to high levels of pollution. These phenomenon occurs due to various factors, including rapid urbanization, lack of waste management infrastructure, and industrial activities. As the largest metropolitan and economic center in Indonesia, this issue presents a serious challenge for Jakarta, as it adversely affects public health and the environment. According to the National Development Planning Agency in 2018, the level of water pollution in Jakarta reached 96%, categorized as heavily polluted. This condition increases the risk of health problems such as respiratory and skin diseases. Despite efforts like waste treatment and environmental awareness campaigns, pollution remains a complex issue. In response to this problem, we, the delegation from SMPN 213 Jakarta, led by Alpha Isha Budur Saksono, along with team members Jennifer Liu, Ibrahim Makmahandoko, Muhammad Jawad, and Haider Salafi, Haider Ahmad Salafi, under the guidance of Mr. Sofian Aji SPD, proudly present our project titled Analysis of River Water Quality in Jakarta Area, Identification of Pollution Sources and Efforts to Control Them. The research and to unfair pretty research question. First, what is the current condition of river water quality in Jakarta? Second, what is the main source of the pollution? Third, how can effort to control river water pollution be implemented? Research objectives. One, to identify the actual condition of river water quality in Jakarta. 2. To analyze the source of pollution 3. To assess the effectiveness of pollution control efforts 4. To recommend evidence-based policies to improve the river quality Benefits of the research This research is expected to provide both theoretical and practical benefits. Theoretically, it enriches understanding of river water pollution and provides new insights into handling similar issues in other areas. Practically, the results of this research are useful for the government and industries in taking concrete steps to improve river water quality and reduce health risks for the public. This study uses a qualitative method. Sampling was conducted at the Chilewong River with two main sampling points. The samples were analyzed using NaOH, sodium hydroxide, and HCl, hydrochloric acid reagents to detect lead contents in the river water. Data processing was done using descriptive statistical analytics to systematically describe the condition of the pollution. Research results. Based on the analysis, it was found that the water quality in Jakarta's rivers is highly polluted, with lead levels exceeding acceptable limits. The chemical reaction con conducted reflects significant lead presence in all sampling points indicating widespread heavy metal contamination. The pH of the water at all observation points was below the clean water standard, suggesting that the river water is acidic due to organic and chemical pollution. Conclusion This research confirms that the water pollution in Jakarta is a serious issue that requires further action. Collaboration between the government, industries, and the community is needed to find effective and sustainable solutions to address river water pollution. Thank you for your attention. We would like to express our gratitude to the MNNF Network Malaysia for organizing the INIIC competition, providing an avenue for student innovation at the international level. We also extend our thanks to SNPN 213 Jakarta for their full support of our team. Wassalamualaikum. Conclusion. This research confirms that the water pollution in Jakarta is a serious issue that requires further action. Collaboration within the government, industries, and the community is needed to find effective and sustainable solutions to address river water pollution. Thank you for your attention. We would like to express our gratitude to the MNNF Network Malaysia for organizing the INIIC competition, providing an avenue 
for student innovations at the international level. We also extend our thanks to SN SNPN to 213 Jakarta for their full support of our team.